गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड हेयर इज अ इंटरेस्टिंगली चैलेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम जे एडवांस एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम पुटनाम प्रॉब्लम्स विच वॉज पिकड अप बाई जे कमेटी एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज रियली ब्यूटिफुल टू स्टार्ट विथ बट हेयर आई हैव टू स्टेट द क्वेश्चन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल यू आर रिक्वाइड टू फाइंड अ वेरी टाइट बाउंड ऑफ पाई एज सोन इन द प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ सो बिफोर आई गो फर्दर लेट मी गिव द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल and let's just start with the discussion the first obvious thing is since the power of numerator is going to be 8 because this will give birth to x to the power of 4 plus something something and so on that collided with x to the power of 4 is going to give me x to the power 8 so one obvious way is to divide the given expression numerator by 1 plus x square but i'm going to play a a small trick over here because i know the motivation is that 1 plus x square is going to divide most of the part of the numerator so i'll try to bring 1 plus x square into problem and that's how thought process starts so 1 minus x to the power of 4 i'll decompose at 1 minus x whole square to the whole square and the motivation was to bring 1 plus x square minus 2x whole square and that motivates me to bring 1 plus x square into picture and now this can be happily written as a square plus b square and minus 2ab so 4x into 1 plus x square divided by 1 plus x square dx which can be written as 0 to 1 and i can club x4 into 1 plus x square dx plus integral of 0 to 1 that is going to give me 4x to the power 6 by 1 plus x square dx and the last bracket is Minus zero to one, four x to the power of five dx. Right. Let's do this calculation. So first calculation is quite simple because x four plus x six uh, integral zero to one dx. And the last guy is uh, four times zero to one x to the power of five dx. Now how to handle this integral? Now this you can clearly see because x to the power six uh, will give a hint of maybe putting one plus x square as t or some substitution, but that will give birth to two x. If and if I bring two x over here, that will demand you know x to the power five, and that will not be cool to start with. So here I can write this as x to the power six by one plus x square. Let's handle this equation expression separately. so this i am doing over here what we can do is we can add and subtract probably the motivation for this is to bring a plus b out of a q plus b formula plus 1 plus x square dx and it goes to uh, a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square over 1 plus x square minus 1 by 1 plus x square so integral of this entire stuff And now we are left with nine in integral. So it's integral of x four minus x square plus one dx minus that is going to be tan inverse x because integral of dx. And this is validated from zero to one because this entire integration was from zero to one. If we plug all the values now, which is quite simpler because you know x to the power n integration, x to the power n. This is entirely x to the power n tan inverse x will give birth to pi. So this is going to be pi over four. And if you collect all the values, the answer that I am getting is surprisingly beautiful, which is thirty two by seven minus pi. So this is small calculation is left for you. Twenty two minus pi. Now twenty two by seven minus pi is clearly positive number because the given integration from zero to one represents area bounded by this function from x equal to zero to x equal to x and the function y equal to this f of x. But clearly y equal to zero means x axis. If you'll see at x equal to zero function die, x equal to one function dies. Nevertheless, uh, clearly the maximal of the function since between zero to one, numerator is always a fraction. Fraction to the power of four will increase more. So it's something fraction by a little bit more than one. So that's going to be fraction. So the function will be anyway, uh, you know, like it will be definitely within this square. So the answer for this function is definitely something positive, got in zero. And it's definitely less than one, and that's quite obvious from the value that we got. So it's not only positive, but also its value is very close to zero because the gap is 
to a small and that proves 22 by 7 bits pi right but still we are too far uh, how to get more a strong bond on what is being shown over here and this i'll do uh, with little approximation of this uh, function because what we can do instead of finding the exact value of this expression we can actually put some restrictions and some bond on it and that's particularly very useful when you know like you need to estimate an integral so let's just start with that trick and the bond that we are going to give is uh, since we know so we have a function f of x x4 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by 1 plus x squared dx that was integral so we have this function over here right and we know from the previous discussion is i is positive hence 20 over 2 i7 that is the classic you know like a schoolboy approximation to pi to our estimated a fact that is not so easy otherwise to establish but our calculation gives us more information uh, than just you know like 22 by 7 get in pi we can also get an idea of how just a good approximation of 22 by 7 is to pi that's because uh what i can tell is 0 to 1 integral x4 into 1 minus x to the power 4 by 1 plus x square okay that is definitely greater than because the maximum value it is definitely greater than 0 to 1 x4 into 1 minus x to the power 4 by 2 why because 1 plus x square will definitely be a smaller than 2 so if i keep a larger value so this positive quantity will beat this entire argument right so that shows is uh, this quantity which is 22 by 7 minus pi will be a little bit more than this available quantity right so i can tell 22 by 7 minus pi is going to be more than the value of this expression similarly what we can do is uh, we can plug away x square from the picture so let's say if which is more 1 plus x square or 1 clearly 1 plus x square will beat 1 and when x is 0 it will be equal okay so if the given integral if i call it i now i can tell this i is right it's lesser than 0 to 1 i is more than 0 to 1 x to the power 4 1 minus x to the power 4 over 2 dx and it will be definitely lesser than if i'll take the maximum possibility of x4 into 1 minus x to the power 4 integral 0 to 1 dx and both of these are typical polynomial function so it's quite easy to establish their value right so here i'm writing value of this so when if we'll just open 1 minus x to the power 4 i is the way i opened it so this gives us a very interesting result and what we get is half times 1 by 5 minus 2 over 3 plus 6 by 7 so you can just multiply using binomial or otherwise 1 minus x square square and check these coefficients will turn out to be 1 by 9 so this will be less than i is less than again 1 by 5 minus 2 by 3 plus 6 by 7 minus half plus 1 by 9 right and the given quantity like the quantity in lhs this guy becomes surprisingly 1 by 1260 and this other guy is 1 by 630 and with this we can tell uh, you know like uh, 22 by 7 minus pi is going to give a window between 1 by 1260 and 630 so from here we can multiply and take pi by minus 22 by 7 will be dancing from minus 1 by 630 to you know minus 1 by 1260 so pi dances from 22 by 7 minus 1 by 1260 to 22 by 7 minus 1 by 630 and this window gives very fantastically beautiful uh, you know values so here you can evaluate both of them and that gives me 3.14206 and the lhs gives me 3.14127 this is clearly a very fair estimation of the values of pi just with the basic integral proposed because the value of pi if you'll see is 3.14159 is quite closer to both of this window and sandwich within them okay so this is really fun you know like uh, 
uh, how nicely and tight bound we have got from this operation right uh, if we we'll see a similar you know like integral in the spirit of uh, same kind of definition of the functions or almost similar then actually it's possible to arrive at the more tighter bond and that's going to be probably for the cases where you know like uh, we can i can give you one more example of integral which can relate very well and gel with pi nicely which is x to the power 8 into 1 minus x to the power 8 uh, by 1 plus x squared so i have tried to mimic the same thing 25 plus let's say 816x squared these coefficients are very nicely chosen 3164dx and this value if you will evaluate either you can do exactly in the same way as we did above right by expanding it and then getting polynomial so that will give you t that 55 by 113 minus pi and the first six decimal if you'll see the value of pi given by computer so 3.1415 so the first six decimal is completely agreeing okay with the value of this right and that's literally crazy because even uh, the upper bound and lower bound can be set similarly by keeping this you know like to be two and one in one of the case as i've done above and we can get fairly tight window of pi here okay so in the decimal expansion if we'll do this you will get bold digits of lower and upper bound of those of pi up to maybe uh, six decimal places they will agree with each other of course like some of you might be thinking like why i just opened this why not a trigonometric substitution of uh, x equal to 10 theta would work definitely to work so method two of cracking this integral you could have kept x equals 10 theta and the motivation is possibly because of uh, 1 plus x square and that motivates us fairly good enough uh, to bring 10 theta into picture because 1 plus 10 is square theta is going to give you secant square and dx will produce secant square and that cancellation uh, seems a very good hope of uh, converting this expression and having a pi connection right so this is how we can you usually you know like reframe je problems and to understand more about it i strongly believe like those who are preparing for je i science semi kind of examination should not just you know rely on the formula based learning but if you are really seeing the physics of mathematics that's going to help you in a very you know like a strong way at the same time you'll enjoy the genetics of mathematical problem solving so instead of you know like just uh, parrot learning or ramming some of the problems or in a simple poetic way it's better instead of solving you know like 200 problems one on a topic just you solve 10 20 problems of good level so that your concepts becomes more strong thank you have a good day